Well, hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome to the channel, welcome back to Vintage Story. Okay, that's doing well. Hope everybody's having themselves a nice day. It is a Monday morning here in the beautiful Sunshine Coast. And, uh, hmm. A lot nicer here than it is here. Boo! Looks cold, doesn't it? Minus 5.1, so we will start to shiver here if we stay out here. Okay, ooh, it's a balmy minus 3 in here. Well, we should be just fine then. So, what I want to do today... First... Oh, what have I got here? Ew. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna <laughs> have to cook this off first. Of course, we're gonna have to add some firewood, as there's none. grab a bowl and from said bowl let's grab some honey nice and then okay that's probably done so let's get it off of here there we go put this in here okay Preheat the bowls. Let's grab some berries. And There we go. That's the way to do it. So let's get that guy going. Now I'm running a mod that tweaks what you get out of these. Um, the problem with Jam is, or at least was without this mod, that it doesn't give you much in the way of food value. And what this does is, you can not only make the jam without honey, if you care to, but if you make it with honey, you'll get a much higher uh, satiation rate, such a weird word, um, than you would if you didn't. I think it gives you 300 if you use just the fruit, and then gives you like 800 or something if you add the honey so a much better deal okay that's now going okay just to be piggy mmm <laughs> nothing wrong with a little dollop of honey oh this is done Okie dokie. 540. Hmm. I thought it was higher than that. Oops. Uh. 
Now, of course, the problem here is I can't actually seal that. Oops, I don't have my mole. Who knew? So it's left click to add honey and right click to remove honey, in case you're wondering. Which is sort of uh, not at all the same as uh, berries and other products. All right. Try and click these to close them, and if you have anything that'll fit into the fire, it just throws it right in there. <laughs> yeah, it's not my favorite thing at all. All right. Whoa, walked right into the uh, oven. Nice. And we're done with that. And we're done with this. Awesome. Perfect. Just sitting like that, they're good for 1.9 years. Mm -hmm. Not bad. down doesn't give you much um, I think honey would actually probably do you a little better than that and I guess we'll have this with it 
Huh? Well, that filled the tank. All right. What do we got? Nothing in here but a tiny bit of water. Ah, a couple of prepared hides. No. Yeah. Do I have anything a little chonkier in the prepared hide section? Scraped hides. Well, those are going to go. Uh, one small rawhide. Ah, there we are. That's more like it. Just because it's a completely full... Um, 50 liter, 9 leather, seal it up. Alright. You... Uh, prepared hides, scraped hides, there we go. And, yeah, you're just gonna have to wait. <coughs> So that up nicely. Hmm. Of course, the problem is with this lovely flourish of seasons is that they absolutely suck in the winter. For one, the days are too short. You can't... Even if you could get where you wanted to go in the period of time allotted... Okay, this is sort of iffy half and half. That all needs time, and that does too. So nothing really going on with the greenhouse. But let's just speed things along. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot to keep you occupied during these short winter days. So... From a game perspective, it makes it a little slow. From a YouTuber's perspective, it makes it a little dull. couple days and we'll be back for some more harvests. Okay. The berries. Very nice. <laughs> Getting a little bit of snow in the uh, barn fields here. That's why we... Uh, Put in the extra bits. The cows are doing well. How are you doing? Decent weight. You all seem to be thriving in here fairly well. Okay, ready to be... Can be milked, but may become aggressive. Well, that's alright. I wasn't really going to. All right, they seem to be doing pretty good. I don't know why they're in here.
There you are. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, excuse me. Chicken eggs, pheasant eggs, a broody hen is needed. Yeah, I don't know. You guys can sort your own broody hen business out. So, can you... Trying to throw food in there before or between being a, pretty much mauled by the chicken things. There we go. All right. That gets them a little bit of food. Still cool, too cold for my bees to do anything useful for me, which is too bad. Yeah, just too cold to fly. That's fine. I'm such a good shot. I think we broke one of the arrows. That's okay. Wish they'd produce uh, fat. But no such luck. Ooh, another one, eh? Oh! It did the uh, bounce off the fence and hit him a second time. We actually got that one in one shot. Very nice. Well, maybe not for the uh, chicken look-alikes, but uh, very nice for us. Geez, if we had one more we could make a proper container. Well, we'll put it down here. I'm sure in the next day or two we will run into uh, at least one more peasant pheasant. Oh, chicken eggs are flat and square, whereas these apparently or actually egg-shaped. <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Well, who knew that chickens laid squared eggs to start with, I guess. And, yeah, 10 to 3. Jeez, that looks cold, doesn't it? For a voxel world, they do manage to uh, get a feeling about it, don't they? Like, you can't look out there and go, oh, it looks like a nice day. No, you look out there and you go, God, get me out of here. I'll go sit and binge some Netflix. <laughs> uh -huh. Moo, 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 moo. There we are. 
luck. Bye. For the cows. Do I still have... I don't think so, eh? We got rid of our rabbit trap thing because it was just useless. Yeah, okay. It's a temperature out here. Well, tolerable. Yeah, I put a couple of uh, supports under our bedroom. There's our lovely windmill. Mm hmm. Certainly a, a little bit different build than what I've usually done in this game. I think that's about the best view of our windmill we can get. Cool. Actually looks pretty good with the snow up on the top and stuff. Cool. But... The heck we got... Oh! I must have gone down here. I mean, it's right beside the house. Hmm. Well... Got a gear. That's cool. Huh. Okay, that's uh, that's all that's here. <laughs> Lovely. Alrighty then. Well, yeah. Uh huh. Not sure why that's even there. safer. Now we can only fall far enough for it to really hurt. Won't seriously damage us though. <laughs> well, I think my friends, there's just, as I said, there's not, there's just not a whole lot to do on days like this. You know, it's uh, 4.30 and it is going to be dark by the time we walk from here back to our house. And of course, everything else is in its semi-dormant winter state. So yeah, a little bit of a short episode, but uh, mm -hmm. it's going to have to do. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't yet. But either way, have yourselves a great day. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.